my channel. It's your girl, Shinta Brown. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And if you're new, how you doing? All right, today we're gonna talk about my top 10 chop bars, AKA local restaurants. There are some of these restaurants listed that are not catered to only just local meals. However, their local dishes are just as bomb. So you wanna stay tuned for this list. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Give me your comments. Let me know what you wanna see. Let me know how you felt. Let me know if I missed anything. Just comment below and like. If you like this video, hit the bell button so you can get an alert for the next time I post a new video. Let's get into it. These are the places that I have been that I love is because not only of the food, but the customer service. Let's repeat that. Customer service. Customer service is really bad in Ghana. It's something that they need to work on. So anybody on this list, I am vouching for their customer service. And that's a big deal for me because I don't vouch for anyone just like that. Not just the customer service, not just the food, but the environment, the vibe, the look of the place, the whole spiel. I mean, everything over the top. So here we go. Number one on my list is Gold Coast Restaurant and Bar. It's number one on my list for Accra, okay? And the reason why it's number one on my list is because not only is the food, I mean the fufu, the emutsuo, the benku, dien, dien na mawo. What do you want? They will give it to you, okay? I mean, the drinks, hello, bar, cocktails. I mean, if you don't want to even eat the local food, you can go there for their drinks. They have these bartenders that can mix up a drink, honey. Whatever you want, they got you. The food is bomb. Number one, I love the scenery. They have like these little huts, you know, in the restaurant, there's like little huts that you can sit under to eat your meal, to give you that little local African vibe. They have huge paintings, black and white. I mean, again, the vibe is everything there. Once you enter, you leave, the whole total experience is wonderful. So they are number one on my list. Number two, Bush Canteen, and that's number two on my list. And reason being, food is good. However, I'm not someone who likes that whole cafeteria vibe. You know what I'm saying? The cafeteria vibe is not for me. Bush Canteen makes a lot of people's local chop bar list. So I am going to list it. The food is good. I'm not going to knock it. But the scenery for someone who's bougie as me, it doesn't really get there for me. I like my chop bars to be more personable. And for Bush Canteen, it's more like a cafeteria. So it still has good food. And the whole point is we are making this list for the good food, the vibes and everything. So if you like a cafeteria vibe, kudos to you. Bush Canteen is where you need to go. Number three, let's get to number three. Number three is my personal fave. They have two locations, one in Kumasi, one in Accra. And in Accra, it's in East Lagon to be precise. For Accra, I mean, there's a lot of spots, you know. <laughs> Again, this is a chop bar slash local bar that has more of a personal, you know, a personal touch. Like somebody will come to your table, ask you what you want, you go over the menu, you can pick your meals and stuff, and they cater to you. They're very friendly. The atmosphere is really good. And they are number three. Number three on my list, the food is of absolutely good absolutely and every time i go i get a awesome server my next place will be asanka local they are located in osu and their food is really good i love the fufu and chicken light soup my next spot which will be number five da -da -da! we made number five already can you imagine number five is mangoes Mangoes is located in East Lagon. You can check them out. Again, I love the vibe there, the music in the background. Everybody's a little upbeat, friendly. The food is awesome. It has more of that personal feel, not that cafeteria vibe per se. Number six, 
I will say is Mama's Kitchen. Mama's Kitchen is near Starbites, right around the corner from Starbites next door, right at that corner on the main street. The woman there, she is very motherly, so I can understand why it's called Mama's Kitchen. She's very friendly. The staff are amazing. It's more personal. It feels like you're at home visiting your aunt and she's giving you the food. So that place is good. Mama's Kitchen, I went there. I had my Banku and Inkruma, um, AKA Banku and Okro. Awesome. It was really good, very delicious. Actually, when I get there, I'm stopping by there again just for my Banku in the Okro. Don't jealous me. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get into my the rest of my list. Now these places aren't really the typical local Ghanaian dishes, but again, they do cater to some Ghanaian traditional meals and it's pretty good. Let's start off with honeysuckle. Honeysuckle, if you're looking for fried yams, honey, fried yams and some chicken. And I mean, their chicken wings are a bomb, okay? Their chicken wings are good. As you can see, I like eating wings. If you watched my other video, again, if you haven't watched Where to Eat in Ghana, please go watch that one. You will understand why I emphasize on chicken wings. Okay? Wings are for the win. <laughs> so honeysuckle and their chicken wings and their fried yams is awesome. Pot belly. Pot belly is located in East Lagon, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Pot belly is my best friend. Okay, I mean they have pizza, hot dogs, and all the things that you may not be looking for in your local dish. But they also have the jollof rice. They have wache. They have all these things. And oh my God, the the scenery there is so cool. Like they have this um, cowboy western you know those western movies if you ever watched the movies that have like um the barn fill and all those things that is the whole concept there and it's really nice pot belly has a lot of meat pork meat whatever ribs whatever and drinks too for the guys if you're looking for a place to eat meat drink and chill and have you know socialize with your friends and everything check out pot belly and again, they have the wache, they have the jollof rice, they got the pizza for your kids and the hot dogs. They all good too. Check them out. Um, my next one would be, it's a Nigerian restaurant called 805 in Pra. They cater to a lot of different um, meals. They have the Nigerian and have the Ghanaian traditional meals. So check them out. It's really good. The vibes there are nice again and customer service is awesome. I threw in a bonus because I didn't put them on the other list that I made, but they are really good. And that's Coco Vanilla located in East Ligon. They also have a lot of stuff. I love their um, chicken kebabs and you know their fried rice and things like that. They also have ice cream. So that's one spot that I'll go get an ice cream or a milkshake or pancakes. Oh my God, Ghana pancake. If you never had a Ghana pancake before, please, 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 please. Try Ghana pancakes with ice cream, vanilla to be precise. But if you like something else, that's great. Try that. Try the Ghana pancake. It's awesome. Okay. You can even throw a Nutella on there if you like. And that's it for me. These are my top 10 plus some bonuses for where to eat for your traditional local meal. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. The love and the, the messages and the support has been awesome, nonstop. I'm going to continue. I'm going to keep on pushing. And I hope you do too. Remember to stay safe while you're out there this December because the party and the chilling December is real. But I want everybody to remember that your life is important. Please do not drink and drive. A lot of accidents happen in December, so be aware of your surroundings and please do not drink and drive. Again, love you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Take care.